Now let's talk about um, RBL servers. RBL stands for uh, real-time blacklist. Sometimes they're called uh, real-time block list and uh, DNS BL, DNS blacklist. It's, it's maintained by a third party, usually, like this company and this company. There, there are maybe tens of them on the internet that are popular and hundreds of them that are not so popular. But each one of those uh, blacklists have their own rules for inclusion. Like, for example, why would they include a certain IP in the blacklist? For example, some of them, some lists, uh, will need you to actually actively spam in order for them to include your IP, and they need to know about it. Some of them would need to, uh, somebody would complain, for example, uh, a few people who are members would complain th uh, that your IP is spamming, and they will blacklist it. And some will actually go and actively search for IPs that are what is called open relays, that can relay, uh, uh, relay any email from anybody without any authentication. For example, they will include this IP. And uh, if you uh, check and uh, you know, make sure that you correctly include those um, servers that you like, uh, in my opinion, and on my uh, production server that I use email, uh, in my company, I use three, um, three of those. Uh, I have two of this and another one, and it filters out about, I would say, about 95% of all spam. Now, it's, it's pretty useful because otherwise your mailbox would be literally bombarded by spam. You will see it everywhere. It's, it, you will be measuring it in hundreds and thousands in your mailbox very soon. Because a lot of uh, those people, they use harvesters to, uh, uh, you know, get the emails that they like. They'll try every uh, dictionary combination of email and uh, eventually will end up, uh, even if you don't supply your email anywhere, uh, they will eventually get onto your mailbox. And this way, it filters out, I would say, 95% of all spam. So... In your case, it actually makes sense to include those. And those are included by auto configure. When, once you go here, for example, it, it shows you, it gets the list from my server and I maintain this list. I periodically review it, but uh, for, for now, these two servers are very optimal. If you include those, uh, you'll have much less spam that, than you normally would. It's not going to filter 100%, definitely, uh, because some spammers are very elaborate, but still it's going to filter a lot. Now, you can just add the server, you can edit the server, change it, and remove the server. And you can enable and disable uh, the whole thing, the whole shenanigans here. Um, you can enable it. If you enable it, it's going to reject connection if the sender's IP is listed in one RBL server below, one of the RBL servers below. And what's going to happen is if you authenticate, if you enter username and password, it's going to ignore the check, obviously, because if you are a user on this server, if you are one of the users here, right, then uh, obviously it's going to ignore this check. And uh, even if you come from an IP that's blacklisted, it's still going to allow you to uh, communicate and uh, relay your messages. And that's about it about RBL.